my point is, get your skills uh, now. Don't think you can do it later. You will get it later. You won't win it later, but get everything you can do now. Because if you're lucky enough to get a really good job, and I got a sensational job, I was lucky to get it work in the Washington Bureau of the New York Times, you know, with three years of journalistic experience, it's just one hell of an opportunity. But you'll blow it if you don't know how to do the basics. Let's talk about a couple of the basics. You all know about pyramid stories and so forth. Um, you all know about nut graphs or engine graphs. That is the graph in the story that tells people what the story is about. That's key. If you can't write that, if you can't write a nut graph in 30 words and then take it and knock it down to 22 words and take it and knock it down to 17 words, then you're going to be in trouble. Because if you can't think through what the essence of the story you're at, and I don't care whether you're writing a feature or whatever, you need to know what the heart of your story is. You need to know it when you start, or you don't have a prayer. You're not going to get there. You're going to ramble all over the place. And if you're a really good writer, you're going to fool a bunch of editors for a while. But after a while, it's going to catch up. You're going to have, you have to know how to do that. And if you're thinking about it, you're thinking, well, that's print. And I'm gonna, it's going to be easier in radio. It's going to be easier in video. Let me tell you, video writing is much harder than print. I had spent 26 years at the New York Times, and in the middle of my career, I decided I was going to go over and try to write documentary television. You cannot do long-form documentary television unless you know where you're going at every minute. I just finished this. It's a two-hour film on Puget Sound and Chesapeake Bay. There are so many different directions that you can go, and every single one of the stories in here, there's so many forks in the road that if you don't know what it is you need to get across in your story and keep the viewer or the reader moving to the next point where you've got your next revelation coming, you're, you're going to have a mess of porridge. You're going to have something that's chaotic and confusing. I don't believe news is what happened yesterday. And I think if you spend your life working on the basis of what happened yesterday is what news is, you're going to have a very limited career, either in terms of its potential or in terms of its imagination and how much it, how much you're going to do. I can tell you I've been a journalist 50 years, and it's been unbelievable fun. I've had a wonderful time. I've gone all over the world. I've been a correspondent in Moscow and Cairo and Saigon and all over the South and, and covered Washington and I've covered global economics and Duke Ellington and Dave Brubeck and uh, is Walmart good for America and tax me if you can and spying on the home front and poison water. I mean, it's been a cornucopia. It's been a, a blast. I mean, I, when I look at what my colleagues and my classmates did who came out of college with me, all I can think of is I just had so much more fun. I had so much more interesting life than they did. But that required curiosity, imagination, and I believe an expanded idea of what news I believe news is what you discovered 